Play Play tutorial for beginners how to use Play Play to create videos for your internet marketing, for businesses, for e-commerce. Basically, it's pretty easy. Hello guys, Ilya here. And today we are going to review this great online software service to create our videos. So they have a lot of different features such as basic and non-basic. They provide us the opportunity to work with motion design, advanced branding, premium stock library they have, like dynamic elements, like text and so on, cutaway shots, like a lot of different templates which are customizable, and of course storyboard timeline, automatic subtitles and translations, multi-format resizer, cross team media collection, corporate media library and voice over, so it's pretty good. Also like roles management and custom share page. And some basic features as you can see, trim and cut video, audio, crop video, match videos and so on. So in order to get started we need to visit their website playplay.com and they have like paid plans and of course we can try it for free. So we can simply click on try for free and then just create our account. So I'm already on the way. So here we need to choose the number of our employees. Let it be like student or freelancer and your usage of playplay Play, let it be for social media and marketing. Maybe it's for e-commerce as like for in your case. So let's start using Play Play. Now we are on our like home page or on our editing page. So as you can see, this is our editor. In the left side, we have different folders back home, library, which is like our library here, branding, audio, format and speed. What do we have in library folder? We can uh, upload our own media. So let's try to upload, for example, two of these videos. Also, we have some stock, uh, stock uploads, stock footage we can use. Basically, not all of them are free, but some of them are free. Also, we can go to stock folder here and find a lot of different photos, different videos, as you can see. And of course, some GIFs here. And with our favorite folder, so if you are like going to use it for a lot of projects, you can create your favorite like area here. So we can just simply click on this herd and they will be like added to our favorite. So this is our library folder. On branding folder, we can add our logo, we can add our main logo, partner logo and so on. So we can change the colors, primary colors for our like presentations. In audio folder, we have the opportunity to work with audio, so we can add our own. We can use like, you know, from stocks and from corporative, I'm happy, basically a lot of different like categories here, we can use audio. So we can simply listen and if it, we are interested in, we can just simply click on plus and they will be added to our project. We have the voice over like option, but it's only for paid plans as you can see. And of course some audio settings like media level, music level and so on. Also we have opportunity to change the format of our video. If we are going to create like Instagram post, we can choose squared, horizontal for YouTube, vertical for TikTok and like story for Instagram stories maybe. So let's try to create, uh, you know, a horizontal video because we are going to create it for our YouTube or maybe for our website. So now it looks like this. Uh, and uh, in the last folder, we have the opportunity to uh, like, you know, change the speed like regular, slow, very slow, fast or not fast. This is our main editing page here. Uh, we have the media we can edit. We can just simply click on plus and drag and drop it from our collection. For example, this video I exported. Um, in while we are adding our video, we can change the duration, we can crop it. So let's crop it for a little, for example, choose only the central part. We can also add some filters if it's necessary, like none, dark and blue, BNV, color and so on. And we have some more settings like loop media, but I won't do this. So let's click on save and our video was successfully edited. What do we can uh, like do? We can change the title here. As you can see now our video looks like this. Welcome to your first video. So we can simply uh, like, you know, change the title like, hello, uh, like, 
well welcome here uh, and also we can like customize it change something like make it you know, different colors change it like this make it underline make it bold italic proxima change the alignment and so on and of course it will be changed as you can see welcome here now it looks like this uh, this is our first send basically we can switch between the other one as you can see now it looks like just a simple blue background color uh, we can just simply change it somewhere here as you can see it's like for paid plans change the text position of course and change the title uh, so now if you'll click on preview our video will look like this so just simply the first send here and after when it will be like done we'll find this one here so this is the last one and of course the outro of of play play so we have the opportunity to click on preview and after that just generate the hd video or edit it so back to edit page so if you click on generate hd video the uploading time will be like in progress and it may take a little time to create it and after that it will be uploaded to our computer and we can easily you know like use it so if you want to add more sense we can just simply add a screen click on add a screen uh, use some text templates here and basically then just use it so as for me uh, like it's pretty good that we have this opportunity to add them if you'll go to home page uh, we can find a lot of stuff here so like my videos so videos we are successfully like edited we can find a lot of different templates here and uh, like in branding area also we can just create our branding in the right top corner we can see the opportunity to work with our account area and we can also upgrade if we'll try to watch for their prices we can see that like standard price is like 160 euros per month it's not that low price but if it's like suitable for you if you know that you will use play play for a lot of your projects you can simply buy it and uh, i think it will be really helpful for you to create something for example for your drop shipping business e-commerce and so on so basically this is a way of how can we deal with playplay.com i hope guys this video helped you out if it is please leave a like comment and subscribe if you have any questions you can write them in the comments below I wish you a very, very good day and goodbye, guys.